Hello, and welcome to the second module of the MOOC about challenge-based learning. This week, we'll discuss the roles and responsibilities of the different stakeholders participating in CBL activities. A focus will be put on the main actors, the teachers, the students, and the external participants and partners, some of whom might be challenge providers. And we'll talk about the necessary competencies of the different stakeholders who will design or participate in CBL activities. But before jumping into details, we first want to give you a broader introduction into why and how roles and responsibilities change and need to change when we want to put in practice CBL activities. We'll complement this week's MOOC with testimonials from colleagues and students who participated in CBL in order to make the content as tangible as possible for you. At the end of this module, you will learn more about possible limitations and will give you some tips on how to remediate. So let's get started. Before plunging into the roles and responsibilities of the participants and partners in CBL and the corresponding competencies, it seems interesting to us to be explicit about the underlying assumptions about learning when talking about CBL. The traditional way of designing courses called teacher-centered approach is to start from the content of the course. Teachers decide on the content that they intend to teach, plan how to teach this content, and then assess the content. This approach is based on the teacher's input and on assessment in terms on how well the students learned and reproduced the material. In today's world, international trends in education show a shift from the traditional teacher-centered approach to a student-centered approach. This model focuses on what students are expected to be able to do at the end of the course. Important elements in this approach are the so-called intended learning outcomes, or ILOs, and the constructive alignment, meaning that the learner constructs his or her own learning through relevant learning activities. ILOs define what the students are expected to know and are able to do after the participation in CBL. The learners are the active creators of knowledge, and they are even co-responsible for knowledge creation. Students are confronted with real-life problems in collaborative and social environments in which they apply their skills and experiences in order to solve these problems and to construct the knowledge. This student-centered approach is based on constructivist theory. Constructivism learning theory is defined as active construction of new knowledge based on learners' prior experience. According to Savary and McDuffie, constructivism contains eight main instructional principles. First, anchor all learn activities to a larger task or problem. Learning must have a purpose that is meaningful. Second, support the learner in developing ownership for the overall problem or task. Three, design an authentic task. Four, design the task and the learning environment to reflect the complexity of the environment the learner should be able to function in at the end of the learning. Five, give the learner ownership of the process used to develop the solution. Six, design the learning environment to support and challenge the learner's thinking. Seven, encourage testing ideas against alternative views and alternative contexts. Eight, provide opportunity for and support reflection on both the content learned and the learning process. This list of criteria applies not only to constructivist theory, but also to challenge-based learning, since CBL activities take place in an active learning environment that engages students to plan their own learning journey. The teacher's primary role shifts from dispensing information to guiding the construction of knowledge by his or her students around a challenge. CBL has the potential to support all components of innovative education, such as student-driven learning, interdisciplinary, competence-based, flexible learning path, and the development of the 21st century skills, which we'll talk about later on.